Okay, this is my Seneca Big Bore 35, 357 caliber slash 9mm um, air rifle. It's the Seneca Recluse. And it's a single shot. It has a dual air chamber on it. And I have it filled up right now. Right there. On air. And I've got a CV Life um, scope on it. And I think it's, uh, what does it say? 4 to 16, I think it's uh, by, four, it says 44, 4 to 16 by 44, uh, adjustable objective, and um, this one's not, this one is illuminated reticle, if I want to use it for red or green, um, anyway, 7.5 pound trigger, I guess, uh, this one does have a very, very slow leak, so I have to fill it up every so often, I filled it up today, and uh, I got 25 yard targets down there. And I just wanted to show you the difference in size and some pellets I have. Uh, right here, this is a 50 caliber. This is like a 325 grain, 28 grain. This is, that's 50 caliber. Here's a 30, uh, 357. And this is um, a 95 to 98 grain slug. I just put a 177 slug uh, pellet next to it. This is about half the width of that, just a little under half the width. So, but uh, there's different weights and pellets, you know, for what the guns can shoot. This is a 25 caliber right here, and this is a little bit wider than what a 243 projectile would be. A 243, I believe, is a six millimeter, and this is a 6.35 millimeter. Uh, here's a 22 caliber. And here is a 177 caliber. So 177, 2225, 357, and 50. Okay. I do have a 20 caliber and a 30 caliber, uh, but I didn't want to put them in here. I don't want to dig them out. I just have these available. So you can see the difference in the size of the uh, pellets and slugs and stuff for air rifles. Um, the 177 is really close to the width of a BB. A BB weighs about 5 grains, and this pellet in particular weighs 9.25 grains, so it's almost twice the weight of BB. All right? Okay, I'm going to take this down there at uh, 25 yards and set it down, and I'll come back here, and I'm going to shoot about five shots. Uh, the first three are the power shots, and I'm going to do these um, not at full power because it's just a little too loud. So, uh, so actually, the first five will be really close to the same in power. Uh, probably about 700 feet per second. Uh, it shoots full power about 905 feet per second with these slugs. All right, I'll go down there and set it down there. Okay, so we're back in action. So I'm going to shoot at a, a couple of targets. I'm going to shoot like, I changed my mind how many I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot three here, three over there, and then I'll shoot uh, three here. All right, um, maybe something like that. All right, this is going to be a partial power.
Okay. So, as you can see, there's three shots right there. And there's three shots there. And then there's three shots there. So the three first shots are the power shots. Um, uh, even at lower power are the main ones. And you can see they're all in the same hole. So, but you know, that's still really good. Um, these are okay for deer hunting in some states and uh, other game. Uh, in California, you can use them for some game, but not big game. Um, but um, in uh, Utah, uh, you can use them for uh, with with the uh, air bolts, and you can use them for uh, uh, deer and stuff like that. In, in Arizona and a few other states, Texas, you can use uh, these guns for hunting. Florida, a few other ones. So there you have it, 25 yards with the Seneca Recluse, 35, 357 caliber, uh, with 95 to 98 grain slugs. Um, I bought these from a private seller one time, uh, and um, he was experimenting. And I wanted someone to try them out, and I did. I just had to pay for them. Uh, not a very high price, and I still have a lot left. But there you go. Imagine the first three shots right there. Pretty darn good at 25 yards. There we go. And uh, I could go like 40 yards shooting a deer or something like that with these. Alrighty. But I'd rather stick to a closer distance. That's it in a nutshell. 25 yards with my air rifle.